All right, it's the weekend, so I got to sleep in a bit. And honestly, the first thing I do every morning is crack my back. I know, probably not a good, healthy idea, but I don't really care. This is what I wear every day, literally every single day. It keeps me warm. And where I live, it's very cold. So it's important that I have layers on. As you can see, I'm putting on my snow pants. Also, my calves, they're trying to throw milk everywhere at me. So I don't really want to get that on my good, clean clothes. So that's why I kind of just put my outside clothes on for that. The first thing I do every morning is I get the calves pails of milk ready so there you can see I'm dumping in the powder and then after that I pour in warm water. Alright, there you can see that's the baby that was born on Christmas. She's been doing really good. She still does get very distracted though. After I get done with the calves, I move on to feeding the donkeys their hay. And after the donkeys, I move on to Sophie, Evelyn, and Betty. And then Annie and Rachel. Alright, so Oakley gets fresh water, obviously all the animals get that, my dad does that, um, grain and hay, as you can see there. Big! You're so big, chunky monkey! Me, my oak! Oakley! And look at her horns, too. Where are you? Why are you trying to hide? Why are you trying to hide? Hi, Mama! Hi! Alright, so for the piggies, they get oats and just regular pig feed. They get they get a couple scoops of that. I had some extra time, so I watched the sun go up with Bailey. Um, and that's really special because I always love when I get to spend extra time with my animals. And of course, Duke wanted to budge in there. Once I'm done with my morning chores, I go back inside and I wash out the pails that the calves are drank from. I eat and then I head back outside because my dad was out in the woods cutting up some firewood so I had to go out there and meet him in the bobcat to pick that up. the firewood I came back put on my more layers and we headed to go to the hay auction we did end up buying some square bales this time all right so it has been really cold where I live and as you guys can see the sun was finally out today and so I wanted to spend some time with Duke because I love just hanging out with him and stuff so I'm putting on his halter right here you can see donkey wants attention too um and honestly I just wanted to hang out with him kind of sit on him lead him around ride him a bit Okay, but can we just talk about how sweet of an angel he is? Like, some horses will run away when they see you coming with, like, the reins because they don't want to be worked. And he just stands there like a sweet, like a sweet little old baby. I love him so much. Honestly, you never know when an animal is getting close to, like, dying. Um, Duke is pretty old, and I don't know if this is his last winter or he might have a couple winters still, but that's why I try and always just spend... As much time as I can with him because I love him so much and you want to be able to cherish those moments before they become memories. And yes, I know. Those reins are way too short on him. That's why I only have him clipped to one side of his halter. It's not like I'm going to be working him hard or anything. I just want to hang out with him. This next part is really funny because Bailey was messing around with the camera and it fell down and just listened to my voice. While I was in with Duke and in the cow pasture, I noticed that they needed some more hay. So here I am hopping in the bobcat, getting ready to dump them. Not necessarily a bale, that's more of like a big square bale, but 
But I love this little just picture right here. Like me dumping them hay with like the sun. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with those. And honestly, most days go by really fast. Here I am. Just made the calves their milk again. Going out to do the evening chores. They're pretty much the same as the morning chores. Um... If it's on a school day, I get to spend more time with my animals in the evening. Here I caught a really cute moment with Dolly and little Domingo. Mostly Dolly. Look at how she walks up to me and she gets even closer. so cute, baby. You're so cute. Hi. Uh, I love you. mentioned before it, it is really important to clean out um your calves pails so that's what i'm doing right now i do that in the morning and in the evening anytime that they drink out of it i always make sure that they're clean at the end all right and after i got done with my chores i headed back outside to unload the bales that we bought earlier on in that day i feel like with farming i always get to build like so many like core memories with my dad because we're always like doing it together like earlier today when we went to the hay auction and i was like stacking all the bales on his truck and he was like stacking them like higher up on the truck but i was like carrying them over to the truck and i just felt like such a boss for a soft because like i'm a girl and a kid doing this so it was just a cool moment but it's also like I'm so excited to, like, be able to do this with my kids and think, like, oh, yeah, like, me and, like, Grandpa or, like, my dad, like, basically, like, we used to do this. And I don't know. I just I just feel like growing up on a farm, I've gained so much respect for what farmers do. You know, every single day, it doesn't matter the weather, it doesn't matter how you're feeling, the animals got to eat. I was running low on milk replacers, so I ran to Fleet Farm and bought some more. Miguel wanted to film me walking around Fleet Farm, and I was freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cringy. But yeah, we finally got to the cashier to check out or whatever. There goes my $80. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. It gives you guys a little idea of what I do in my life. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.